as I'm walking in, there's still more. What up, people? It's your boy. Yes, I'm doing another reaction. And before any of you Franco Aholics super fans get mad, I've spoke with Franco. He likes the fact that the videos that I do. So don't come at me with some hate. If I see something that I feel isn't right, that's my opinion. But to be honest, a lot of Franco stuff. I think he's genuine. He's a great guy. He's really humble. He does great videos. His B-roll footage is great. So, guys, just enjoy the video for what it is. It, one, it's free advertisement for Franco. Two, two, two. it's all and done in fun. It's what I do when I watch TV. So don't get mad at me for anything I do based on his videos. If you're a diehard fan of Franco, make a comment. Don't threaten me. Just, you know, don't, oh, I'm going to unsubscribe. And the ones that think that I don't go out and do paranormal investigations. Yes, I have. I've done them. I haven't done any in a while because I have, because I work. I work third shift, and majority of my time that I work, that I'm off work, is spent family time or recording videos and editing. So, if I plan on going out, I've got places that I'm going here soon, guys. So, anyways, go hit that subscribe button. Go down and hit, uh, click on the link and go to this video, to Franco's video right here, and... Watch the whole video and comment on it. Click on the link. Um, like, subscribe to his stuff. Do the same for any of the other links that I got down the bottom. You got uh, Project Exofum. You got Franco's links going to be there. Uh, the link for uh, ghost hunting equipment and all that. If you feel you want to go out and do your own paranormal investigations. If you're in Kentucky and you want to go out, you find a place and you want me to go with you, I'll go with you and I'll... I'll prove that I'm not going to run from a bang in a building. And I will show and prove. I have no issues doing it. All right, guys, let's get into this video. This is Franco's TV's Adventures. Finding the Mystery Church. And I just about got attacked by my cat. Not the ghost, but... My cat. Someone told me that there is a hidden church deep within a cemetery forest. Not many get to see this place. But if I was lucky enough to find it, it would be worth my adventure. So today I'll take I love you guys this with me intro. to find this hidden structure. Oh, this would be a dope film. Join me as I travel to explore this hidden location. Welcome to the Mystery Church. What's up guys? Thank you for watching Franco TV. Today I have something pretty interesting, something that I found and wasn't really expecting. Um, I was exploring this graveyard and there's something more to this graveyard than what I thought it was. It's actually a church hidden deep within this forest. I didn't think there was a church here, but apparently there's a church out here. And there's also other structures here. I don't know if I'll be able to find those structures because they're so deep inside. But further inside, there should be trails that we could actually explore into and finding out what beauty awaits us deep inside this place, where hopefully we can find what looks to be an abandoned church or a hidden church or some sort of structure. But I know it's a church nonetheless, so I'm dying to find out. It hasn't been used in a while. Now I want to take you guys with me to explore this wonderful, beautiful thing before it perishes into the darkness where no one will ever see it again, except for me. I'm just kidding, because that's pretty much the situation that's where it's at right now. So that being said, let's get into it. All right, look at this. 
inside this tomb, someone broke the side of it open. And you can see what looks to be the casket on the inside. Yeah, he should if that casket would open. Oh, that is so creepy. Look at that. See if I could point into it. See that? Oh, man, that's been there for years. I want to see how long it's been in there. You know what would be dope is to have a uh, motion-activated vice that would raise the casket when somebody looked, got down, and the they triggered the motion sensor, and then that casket would raise while they were down there. That would be fucking dope. Sorry, guys. I, I do have a fascination with uh, movie magic, so... Because that is... <laughs> Isn't that creepy? Oh, my God. So that casket was put in there. In 1965. That's a 1965 casket right there. That's intense. So as I'm recording this area, something that you're going to notice about this particular cemetery is that there is almost $100,000, oh, $100,000, what am I saying? Uh, $1,000 reward for anyone that has any information about the crimes committed here. I don't know what crimes that they're talking about. Maybe it's, uh... <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but... Maybe it's, uh, like, somebody's, uh, desecrated graves, or they've been robbing, like, digging up bodies and taking the jewelry and stuff. Um... Uh, one thing I gotta say is, this cemetery looks fucking creepy. Imagine... Franco, man, I hope you're gonna go do this at night. Drop me a comment... In the bottom, I'll pin your comment, but let me know, man, uh, while you're, when you drop your comment, leave a link for anything you want to leave a link for, uh, and I'll pin it. But uh, let me know if you plan on going back to this graveyard at night. That would be dope. I mean, the, it just, the alone, the eeriness, especially if it's a foggy and misty night, the eeriness of the trees just, it gives that ultimate creep factor. Those signs are literally posted everywhere around here. So, I'm just being cautious that I don't run into anything because there's a lot of signs here. There's a lot that I'm not showing, but there is a lot of signage here. And it's actually daytime. H. P. Now, one of the interesting things about this graveyard is that there's a lot of criminal activity that had taken place here. Grave robberies, people done digging people for some random reason, okay. rituals, satanic rituals, um, sacrifices. So they started putting up signs all over this place to heed people from coming in here and stealing and vandalizing. There's numerous amount of tombs that have been kicked open, pushed open. Um, I don't know if you guys can see me because of the sun, so I'm going to turn the camera around. So people were kicking tombs down breaking them open, trying to steal what's ever inside. This place has a lot of history here, especially because of the location that it's located at. Again, I'm not disclosing any of that information, but it's not the prettiest side of town where this graveyard's located at. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's probably been a lot of crimes that happen here as far as people getting hurt or whatever. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to head straight into this forest area, see what lies inside. Um, but that's some of the basics of the things that have happened out here. Alright, so there seems to be even more oh, that is over here. Dope. I've been to a graveyard that has graves back in woods and down by a creek and everything. It's it's always eerie when you find graves that are way off in the woods or something. This right here looks crazy. Yeah, I like this. Be careful I don't step in a hole and fall in one. Wow, this is... 1988. Now the only reason why I'm showing this is because it's very, very, very old. Alright, 1884 to 1986. So that person was... Almost... Wow, they were, they were 102 years old. Um... But I mean, it, it's old. It's the uh, the person's over 102, but the grave itself isn't that old. 1986. 
I was I was born in seventy five, so it doesn't mean I'm old. I mean, yeah. Look at that. That's insane. All right, so I just had like a leg full of thorns just now. Down here, what looks like a little pathway here. I kind of want to explore it. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, that is. There's like a little hidden grave area. That's dope. The Sims. I would love <gasps> to find something like that, man. I thought of the game instantly. 1932. Oh, wow. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, that wheelbarrow looks old as hell. It's like they, it's like it was abandoned. Like they forgot that grave was even there. These are really old tombs here. As I'm going deeper into the forest, look at this. Just heard like a, I think it was like trees rubbing. One grave. Wait a minute. Why is the ground around my grave see this too. Maybe it's to the other different. side. Yeah, it is. It looks like something was on fire there, maybe. I can't even see the date. It's too corroded. There's another tomb there. That's another tombstone right here. Oh, wow. There's tombstones here, here. Over there, Hold on, let me walk over here real quick. There's a trail here that I have to follow to get to the other structures deep inside the forest here. Oh wow. Look at that. And then over here there's a couple more. Wow. Look at this one. There's a huge one right here. This one's actually pretty big. And there's more over here. There's some other ones over there. Anyway, let me keep going in so I can find this trail. Oh, wait a minute. As I'm walking in, there's still more. Look at that. And these tombs, are they even marked? Yeah, they are marked. I'm not going to show their names for respect, but... Well, I doubt anyone's still probably living because this is like really 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 old you see oh yeah 1962 <sighs> there's a spider there seems to be more caskets or tombs over there all right let me get out of the light look at this This is actually got pulled out. Tombs on top of tombs. Look at this one. Here's another one. And another one back there. 
I really don't know where this is leading me. Another grave. Right over here. Almost fell on it. Or cut into the granite. Look at this one. Literally, I'm in the middle. <laughs> I'm going deeper into a forest where there's tombs. Yo, when I, I used to work for a cable company and that would send me to towns way out in like BFE and stuff. And every once in a while when I had a break, I would find like places like this and sometimes if i had something to record with i would record but i would always explore these places while i was doing cable take a break go explore graveyards uh woods tra hiking trails now i do have some videos if you click the links i might like, yeah i'll put one up here uh put for the playlist my exploring playlist i'll have there's like with music and everything, kind of like tours of abandoned houses and factories and stuff. I'll leave all those links on there and uh, leave that up in there. And also in the bottom, or click on uh, click on my playlist, click on the exploring playlist. Also, uh, while you're at it, go to my Facebook group, join the Facebook group. And within that Facebook group, I believe I have my other groups that are linked abandoned places in and around Kentucky and exploring in and around Kentucky. If you guys want to join those groups and you're local or you're just surrounding the area and you want to share your abandoned house pictures, your uh, hiking videos, there's a group for hiking and nature and all that. That's the exploring in and around Kentucky. And then there's the uh, abandoned places where you can do urbex, uh, how just taking pictures from the side of the road of an abandoned house, abandoned graveyards. Uh, guys, go join the groups. Now let's get back into the video. That is cool. There seems to be more. Deeper over there. I seem to be getting close to a road area here. Okay. Look at this. Wow. This is just literally hidden inside this forest. I would have never seen this had I not been hiking deep in this woods. Alright, with the uh, road noise, it's going to be hard to pick up if I catch any EVPs on here. But if I catch something that is distinct, I will point it out. Um, and if I see anything in this church, I'm going to point it out. I don't believe Franco fakes a lot of his stuff. I don't think he fakes any. It may have been unintentional or somebody messing with him at some of these places. But... Uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, did you guys happen to see that uh, Franco was on, uh, I think, Nuke's last video for, I think, I, the one I did, maybe, uh, for the old lady sitting in the church. But, or no, that was, I don't remember, but. I mean, sitting in the graveyard. Chickens. He added music. All right, it looks like somebody's recently done some work to the place. Well, sweeping and shit. I don't think that's. I mean, it could be recoverable. Give us some TLC. That's cool. Alright, 
ones here. That way you guys can see better. Okay, so this is actually an old church school built in the 1920s. Now the interesting thing about this place, it's been here desolate alone for years without being touched. It looks like people actually came and trying to maintain this place. This place is kind of like a, I don't want to say a, a secret, but they're trying to really preserve the life of this place as much as possible so it doesn't get destroyed. Um, I knew this was out here, but I've never adventured deep into the forest to find this place. But uh, this place is a beauty. It's a, it's a gem, and I love it. I love it. I think it's amazing. Just the fact that it's still standing. I, I didn't even think I was going to be able to see this place. Is anybody else hearing the dogs barking? I mean, are there dogs outside the place? How close is he to a uh, property that has animals? Uh, or are they wild dogs? Should he be worried? That's the question. But I'm so excited that I did get to. Sorry, it's been a bit of a delay with my videos, but I've been actually trying to find this place, and I actually had to search and search and search. It is not easy to find. But this is it, deep hidden within a cemetery, deep into the woods that you have to travel into, and you come across this. But oh my god. This is old wooden chairs. Little kids used to sit in that back in the days, and those kids are probably not even alive now. Probably passed away for old age or, or something. Look at this one. This one doesn't look too old. Hey. That one actually looks more recent. I remember those chairs. But these are the old ones, and there's only three of them here. This one, this one, and that one over there. And I like how this one's kind of like facing the window. See other spider webs and stuff. Oh yeah, there's no recovery All in that inside place. There. I guess there used to be something hanged here. This actually the rope looks pretty recent. These two ropes here, so I'm not sure what actually used to be hanging there. Look like it might have been something heavy. Could have been used for a film or something, man. Looks like somebody was gonna put bob wire. Ooh. I guess to probably keep people out eventually. Or animals. And you got this door that somebody wrote. This Casey or Cassie, Cassie. was here. I don't know what that's about, but look how old this door is. <laughs> that is so old. Can you see the wood chippings on the inside? And. You know, there are people that collect doorknobs. That doorknob probably would have been gone if somebody had found it that does do that. Because that doorknob's old looking. Can't miss the dead spider. Look at that. Now it sounds right, like so I just noticed while exploring this place, I gotta be careful. This floor is so slim flimsy. Why or when you least expect it. I don't know who wrote that. Again, this has been here for a while. You can see the spider webs already overlapping that. And this one says, when you least expect it, leave us one or. Leave no, us alone. One or. Or maybe that's a T? I don't know what that means. Leave us one or there's nothing else here. Oh my god, look at this. This whole door is like falling apart. But if you look over here as well, you can see what looks like fingerprints sliding down. And uh, yeah, water drips, I'm not maybe. Even the only thing that's touched this place for me is my feet. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of spiders. the curtains they used to be here <sighs> sorry it took me a while to produce this video but I had to drive really far away to get out here I can't believe this is hidden within a cemetery look at that you can just see 
forest right outside there. But somehow it looks like something. It looks untamed. I gotta watch my footing. I almost, I stepped around here, and I literally almost went through the floor. Look at that. There's a road back there. Oh, I almost went through the floor again. Let's see. If you look here, you can see how weak it is. I'm not gonna push my luck. That there already caved in. You know, this church, uh, this place almost looks like the uh, place that uh, Angie, the video I did of uh, Angie the Green Eyed, or whatever uh, her name is, and um, C, Chris. It almost looks like the church that they was at, but a lot cleaner. Hmm. I wonder, I'm going to go back and look at those videos because it's got the same layout, same, uh, like, look to it. Maybe I'm wrong, but could be right. Could you imagine back in the day when this thing actually used to play? Like they tried cleaning up this place too. Oh my god. This whole floor is about to go out. Those dogs sound like really close. But I think there's somebody out. Somebody's house is further deep. Like a little bit past those trees. You can see what looks like a house. Let's check over here. I gotta be extremely careful. Because if I fall, I definitely won't be in love. Whispering, but this place is really nostalgic. Look at this. Oh my god. There used to be more back here. One more other thing here is that there's actually a bell that kind of goes up to the very top there. I guess you used to pull it. I'm assuming it would be for the bell. It, I could be wrong. It could be like a light, but I like pretending it's a bell, even though it could be. Moving forward. <laughs> All right. So right now, I am walking to the side of the schoolhouse church thing. There's like a lot of dogs barking from the forest. So it's throwing me off. Cause I'm trying not to see a dog come running after me. Whoa, okay, so this looks like it's actually falling apart here in the bottom. Look at that. Wow. This is beautiful. This place is huge. I gotta be careful. 
Oh, that would suck. I've had that happen, man. Walking through a yard and all of a sudden a dog come running out. Mm -mm. I'm not afraid of ghosts. I'm not afraid of demons. But a crazy ass damn dog. I'm not afraid. I'll run. But I'm not afraid. I'll kill it. What I don't want. No, I won't. <laughs> to be chased by a dog. Or a chicken. I heard chickens are pretty brutal, too. After spending a couple of hours exploring this mystery church, the sun was slowly going down and darkness was slowly rising. So I decided to start packing my things and start making my way back home before too dark for me to find my trail back. Unfortunately, it took longer than what I expected. All right, so right now I'm still trying to make my way back. I remember this sign. Did you get lost, Frank? Holy crap. Ooh, that is a spinal cord. What kind of animal that is? Or a human. There's a lot of fur out here. Something lost the battle. Alright. Alright, so I'm now more into the swamp area. But I have to get back to the car as soon as I can before it starts getting even darker. Sorry if you see me smashing my... There's bugs everywhere. But... I'm trying to see if I can take a bit of a shortcut. So I can get back to... Okay. Where hey, at least you found a road. That's one easy way to find your way back, buddy. I came from... I came across this road when I was actually on my way to the church anyway. I didn't record it because I was kind of in a rush. But it's getting dark soon, so... I have to hurry up. This is a little bit of a of a bridge here. Oh, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. Jinx. Uh, yeah. I just said <laughs> I that. Have to go that way. I love Amanda. Oh, Amanda. how sweet. I love Amanda too. All right, let's get bitten by the bugs. All right. Ooh. Okay. It's probably gonna get nightfall by the time I get to where I need to get to. Georgie, you want a balloon? Look at that bridge. So, did you get lost? Keep going. There you go. So this is what I see now. Um, I know you guys are saying you don't like the little small screen at the top, and I respect that. But it is getting dark quick. I really have to be. You know what? You guys are going to have to hold that thought. This is not too appropriate. <laughs> I remember this tree, but I'm literally almost back to the car. Oh, wow. At least from where I parked. I have to go to another area. I'm not accessing it from the graveyard like I did originally. But I have to admit that this church is seriously far. Much farther than what I expected. Oh, see, now that looks eerie as fuck. That was weird. It's like a faint dog. What is that?
Sounds like maybe a motorcycle going down the road. That is creepy. See everything. I love this night vision. You guys can see everything. See, the camera I'm getting eventually will have night vision on it, one of them. Not the one I'm getting with the school, which now is going to take a little bit longer because i got to wait on a debt resolution letter from my old financial aid, and that's going to take six months before I can even start school. And then another eight months or so to get the equipment. So, yeah, my film, my film career is going to take a while to get started. Two and a half years from, it's basically going to be three years from now before I can even graduate. Okay, my educated film career. Call J.G. Wentworth. 8776 now. Alright, if you guys see what I see, and what you guys see in the night vision are completely different. It is not the same type of thing here. Oh, I almost fell. Jesus. It was a lot of walking, guys. So if you see that, it's kind of been cut a lot. And it's like now dark. Like I said, it was a lot. A lot of walking. Okay, guys. So I made it back to the car now. The car should be further right up there. Um, thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys like what you saw. I literally went above and beyond on this one. Um, nothing creepy happened too much here. Um, I, I didn't go back to the graveyard where I originally started with the tombstones only because that place closes at a certain time But it was actually faster to get in through there But it's gonna take longer to come back the other way as you can see and I didn't know my way too much But anyway, I made it back before I let you guys go I want to give you guys a quick heads up because I was asking a lot of people were telling me that they wanted to see the creepy picture of the figure that was underneath the old woman. I just want to get it out there and make sure everybody sees it. So that way I could kind of put it away and move forward. Um, and it's starting to rain. But um, the old woman, there's actually a creepy thing sitting underneath the old lady um, that some one of the viewers actually kind of pointed out towards me. And they told me, right, you got to look at this. So I blew it up, edited it, and this is what I saw. It is the most creepiest thing I have ever seen. And I think when I saw it, I was actually eating lunch and I got goosebumps even more from the old lady. So I don't know what the heck that is. I'm gonna let you guys be the judge on that one. But that's what happened. Um, yeah. That is that that is kind of creepy. <laughs> that's some creepy stuff. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. I'm now I'm probably getting started to work on my next video in my next crazy location. And I'm seeing a okay, that's a plane. But I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of that video. Nothing paranormal happened, nothing creepy. But the video was great. The church looked awesome. The graveyard was amazing. Damn shame that it closes at dark. If he could get, if Frank, if you can get permission just to go out there and shoot in them at night, that would be an awesome video because the way that graveyard is, is it's old. It's uh, out in the woods. You may catch a lot of stuff while you're there. So guys, Thanks for watching the video. Go subscribe to my video. Hit Franco TV up. Let him know I sent you. Tell him you like his videos. If you do, anyways. I like them. Um, and again, any of you Francoholics that don't like my videos, don't come at me with a bad attitude. I mean, I've done talk to Frank. He's cool with the videos. Ask him yourself. Post it on his comments. Uh, send him a tweet. Uh, well, he don't answer Twitter. Send him a message on Instagram or something. Ask him on there. He's cool with stuff. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time, have fun.